In the comments, you often write that my videos make you anxious. So let's get our minds off everything and start with an Indian movie. This action scene could seem funny or even weird to you. But what if I told you that this logic of action is our only chance to save ourselves from an asteroid headed for Earth? In 2013, 65803 Didymos already made a close approach to Earth, and now it's preparing for a closer encounter. Take it easy. NASA's already started developing the first ever planetary defense mission. It's highly probable that this December, NASA will send a small dart probe to Didymos. It'll hit the asteroid and change its trajectory. It'll be the first attempt to change the course of a celestial body that has its own orbit. Nothing like this has ever been implemented before, and it's uncertain that the scientist's plan will work. Oh no, you're worried again. To be honest, I feel uneasy too. Because roughly speaking, NASA's going to hit an elephant with a fly. In this video, we'll figure out, isn't it time we made use of nuclear weapons? Are we going to repeat the plot of the movie Armageddon? And most importantly, will the DART mission be able to save us from the asteroid? Any collision of an asteroid with our planet can change the climate, cause a tsunami or firestorms. A large amount of stone dust may even block out the sun. Then the world will plunge into eternal winter. I heard the same events led to the extinction of dinosaurs. Relax. As strange as it sounds, Didymos is the best asteroid that could hit Earth. First, it's the most easily accessible object for spacecraft launched from Earth because of its orbit. And secondly, Didymos is a binary asteroid. No, it's not because of its shape which at first glance resembles a peanut. Look what else was captured back there. There's another small speck near the asteroid, Didymos moon, named Dimorphos. That is what can jeopardize our planet in the future, and that is why the satellite is the main target for the DART probe. The DART spacecraft launch window extends from November the 24th 2021 through February the 15th, 2022. There's not much time left. This probe, the size of a racing car and weighing 500 kilograms, is supposed to collide with Didymos Moon at a speed of six and a half kilometers per second. That would result in its orbital period change. DART has a sun sensor that acts as a navigational instrument to detect the position of the sun. The probe is powered by NEXT, a solar-powered ion engine. On top of that, DART is equipped with a camera with a diaphragm of 20 centimeters. But the more cameras, the better. Right, Apple? Therefore, together with DART, the Lisha Cube probe will be hosted as piggyback for imaging asteroids. Lisha Cube will be deployed from DART in proximity of the target before the impact and will take pictures of the process. 200 years after DART's impact, the asteroid's trajectory will change and it will fly past the Earth. Wait, why are you so furious? Right, I forgot to tell you that we're still about 200 years away from the asteroid impact. Yes, we wouldn't want to face it, but the asteroid can destroy our descendants. And if we hit Didymos now, 200 years will be enough to change its direction. And we need some time to spare in case this plan doesn't work. But what exactly can go wrong? The power of DART's solar panels is only 3.5 kilowatts, which is comparable to the power of a regular electric scooter. We might as well hit the asteroid with a paper airplane. In addition, the DART probe isn't immune from being hit by regular space debris. It can break the spacecraft, or at least change its trajectory before the probe does it. Moreover, if DART goes wrong with the impact force, Didymos orbit could change not in our favor, and the asteroid will turn towards the Earth. 
The research team, led by Harrison Agrusa, on the basis of model calculations, defined that the DART's impact could make the asteroid start tumbling and enter a chaotic state. It'll add to the difficulty of landing on the asteroid, which the European Space Agency hopes to attempt in its HERA mission in five years. But DART is not the only option for saving us from the asteroid. I mean, one of the alternative plans could be more reliable than this space slingshot. How do you like the Gravity Tractor? Its flight is programmed so that it attaches itself to an asteroid and hangs off the side all the time. Whereas any object has gravity, the spacecraft will continuously apply its own gravitational force towards an asteroid and change its orbit. There are more radical ways. For example, blowing up an asteroid with nuclear weapons. Russia's Makayev Rocket Design Bureau offers to deliver the warheads of Soyuz-2 and Rus-M launch vehicles into space. They're planning to detonate them right on the surface of the asteroid. But there's something even crazier. And that's asteroid laser ablation. The lasers have to be directed to a celestial body to bring its surface to a boil. This will form a particle beam that will create a jet stream and trigger a deflection in an asteroid's trajectory. But if the laser beam goes too deep, its energy will wind up getting scattered inside the asteroid's body. It turns out, our reliance on machines can't go too far. There's only one mechanism perfectly capable of handling unexpected obstacles, and that's a human brain. Neither the gravity tractor nor NASA's probe will replace the human presence on the scene. Having gone to an asteroid on a human-crewed rocket, a person will be able to catch wind of the situation on the spot and figure out which method of protecting against the asteroid is better. A similar plan was already under development by Barack Obama. Maybe it's just that the whole thing blew over. I mean, the plan. Research into human space missions to asteroids began in 2010. Back then, Obama suggested a human flight to the asteroid to be scheduled for 2025. It was planned to land on Ceres, the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Ceres was initially considered an asteroid, but was then changed to the dwarf planet classification. To prepare astronauts for the difficulties on the asteroid's surface, NASA even developed and launched a special program to prepare them for operations in the extreme environment. It will help study human behavior and reaction to conditions similar to those expected on asteroids. But so far, this scenario is slow to develop because a piloted flight is a challenging and risky mission. And there's no guarantee that the astronauts will come home. Quite possibly, if things go wrong, the plot of the Armageddon movie might well be repeated. Astronauts will have to decide whether to save their lives or the lives of billions of people on Earth. My subscribers and I don't have the proper training to take part in a mission like this, but we can also contribute to saving the planet. Write in the comments which plan to stop the asteroid you consider the most reliable. You can also offer yours. For example, I think we could make an enormous trampoline that would push off the asteroid. For this, a vast canvas has to be tied to the most resistant things on the planet. One end will be fixed to the Jetta Tower, the second to the Eiffel Tower, the third to the Statue of Liberty, and the fourth may be held by that brave girl from the Indian movie. Because if anything happens, she can stop the asteroid with her own hands.